Hi, this is Gus Jensen at Matrix Robotics, and this is an introduction video about the Matrix Robotics build system. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about the different kinds of parts, particularly for, for the structure of your robot. I'm also going to talk about the Matrix grid so that you can build consistently and things will fit together nicely in, in, your, in your model. The main Matrix part are these various kinds of beams. This is a st standard L-beam, a single row of holes on each side of the band. When you talk about matrix parts, you talk about the number of holes to sort of define the dimensions. For instance, this is a short L-beam that just has seven holes. So it's a seven hole L-beam. Gusset plates, you would measure by the, the dimension. So this is a three by five gusset plate. Gusset plates, L-beams come in various sizes. XL beams are larger, stronger, stiffer. Also C-channel, also very strong and stiff. Has bends on both sides. There are also joiners. Joiners are blue anodized. I'm going to get into a little bit later about what's special about the joiners. They have a very special in how they fit to the rest of the model. There are flange plates. Flange plates are basically gusset plates that are bent on each side. Um, good for many things. And of course, the matrix build system includes a rich set of fasteners, screws, nuts, these quick connectors makes it possible to prototype very quickly. I'll show you those in a little bit. And lots of mechanical parts, gears, um, axles, um, servos, motors, and so on. Okay, the matrix grid. So you can, the matrix grid is based on eight millimeter hole spacing. So from one hole to the next hole is eight millimeters. Very good with Lego parts because the Lego Technic theme also based on that same same grid. You, here I'm holding the Technic beam right over the holes on the matrix plate and the holes line up perfectly. In another video I'm going to talk more about how to work with Lego and matrix. There's some special things you need to keep in mind but it's a very nice, works very well, fits perfectly. Matrix parts. To, to understand the matrix parts you have to understand the, the grid. The surface of the matrix, the matrix part, sort of defines the grid and which means that the outside surface is on the grid, the inside is not. If I take two matrix parts, clear anodized parts, you want to put the outsides together. If you hold the outsides, if you secure outside parts together, we'll do that with some quick connectors so you can see. Here I have a C channel and an L beam. Now, the cross here is going to be completely consistent. I can take this plate The holes will line up perfectly going across this joint right here. So what I've done is from the hole to this seam between the two parts is eight millimeter and then it's eight millimeters to the next one. So it's completely consistent going across. One thing to keep in mind though when you're using the gusset plates is that one side of the gusset plate right now is on module whereas the other side is not. So if you were to mount something on top of this plate, let's say another beam like this, this actually is off module because you have that thickness of the metal in between. So very important to keep in mind which side of the plates you're working on, which side is on module, which side is not on module. The, uh, the joiners are special in that the joiners are designed to fit inside the matrix, the other matrix parts. So here's an XL joiner. So if you can imagine, if you try to take two regular beams and put them together, outside surface, outside surface works fine, but on the inside you have to be careful. The joiners are specially designed though to fit on the inside. So here, these joiners, these holes line up perfectly on this side, but they will also line up perfectly on the other side of the bend. This makes it possible to extend, extend this L-beam, for instance, with another, in this case a C-channel. I'm putting these holes, these pins here in random locations to just demonstrate, but it fits perfectly. A rich set of, of joiners, big uh, 2D joiners. There are also big 3D joiners for the XL parts, and also 2D and 3D joiners for the standard L beams. They work the same way. So you can take two L beams and join them with 
joiners like this, with pins. This is the fundamental way, this is the main way of building matrix robotics, so things to keep in mind. Eight millimeter hole spacing, just like Lego parts, consistent from hole to hole as well as hole to surface. Blue joiners go on the inside, so you don't want to join two parts, two standard clear parts on the inside. Outside to outside is fine, inside is will get you off module. So the main things to keep in mind with matrix is the in order to be consistent with your build, you have eight millimeters holes. So from the row of holes to the surface is eight millimeters. So to be consistent from part to part, make sure that you work outside to outside. The blue joiners fit on the inside. And if you have a gusset plate, remember that this side of the will be on module on the grid, whereas this side will be will not be. So you have to keep those things in mind. If you build consistently, it will all fit together all the way around when you build your robot. Um, if you have any more questions, go to matrixrobotics.com.